Welcome everyone, Xpeng has just released its third quarter revenue and the results are quite surprising in my opinion. Xpeng did not meet the expectations at 0.32 cents per share and as you guys can see the market has just been responding tremendously well. We already reached for the first time the $40 mark but I was not predicting that it was gonna keep going all the way up. We don't know yet if it's going to sustain and close above $40 for Xpeng or if it's gonna go down a little bit but for now the market has responded tremendously well we have right now over 24% gain so far just today getting to the same numbers that Neo were just a week ago this is just amazing the revenue was actually 293.1 million which is an increase of 342.5 year over year so basically Xpong was able to receive an additional 14.36 million in revenue the biggest catalyst for this increase in revenue came from the increase in sales on the p7 which has become the more popular model on Xpong. The deliveries of vehicles reach 8,578, which is again another beat of 265.8 year over year and a 165.7% quarter over quarter. Quarter four guidance deliveries of vehicles. Deliveries of vehicles to be approximately 10,000 vehicles representing a year over year increase of approximately 210.8%. Total revenue to be approximately RMB 2,200 million representing a year over year increase of approximately 243.7 million we can already see some of the comments of the people right now up 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 rocket rocket the beginning of a beautiful growth story non-profitable cars yeah i mean that's the same thing that we said about tesla they are in the growing phase profitability comes with the economy of scale it makes more sense to focus on r d research and development and innovation rather than profit at this point yeah i mean this is one of the major reasons why tesla grew it wasn't necessarily about the profits it was about the growing the company becoming the next big thing for the future they are increasing revenue they are increasing deliveries which is literally the biggest indicator that should tell you that Xpong is moving to the right direction personally i'm going to continue to hold long term i'm just going to be watching and seeing what's going to happen i do want to caution you guys that there might be a slight sell-off today and the most important thing to focus on right now when it comes to Xpong is on the deliveries because the deliveries will be the only catalyst to keep the stock going the p7 has definitely proven to be a tremendous success already reaching 6210 units compared with 325 in the second quarter that is a gigantic difference from the earth to the moon what we see here ladies and gentlemen is an indicator of scalability and it wouldn't surprise me if they double or triple these numbers by q4 i mean this is just a speculation but right now this is a good indicator for me that xpong knows exactly what they're doing and they're doing everything they can to focus on what's more important which is increasing scalability right now we should not be focusing on profitability because if profitability was the only indicator no new company would ever get out of the hole every company has to grow and investing back into the company is the best way to go at least in the beginning another good news that i see is that out of the total p7 deliveries of the quarter 98 percent can support the xpilot 2.5 or xpilot 3.0 this is great news because this means that more and more people will have access to the xpilot software increasing the data and helping the development of the software and as we can see for the third quarter Order, they increased their margins to 4.6% compared to a negative 10.1% in the same period last year and a negative 2.7% in the second quarter. This is good news because they're literally almost doubling their margins which leads me to believe that they should have made a lot more revenue but you guys already know that Xpong is heavily invested in their research and development so it wouldn't surprise me if they reinvested a lot of this increasing revenue right now back into redeveloping the company and I'm gonna continue to add more to my position this is not investing advice this is just my opinion because like I've been talking right now margins have increased sales deliveries have increased exponentially revenue has increased so the fact that they miss the expectations but everything else is in the super super high sky green this is just good news to me in our first quarter as a public company we achieved strong operational and financial results highlighted by the rapid growth in deliveries of our p7 smart ev said mr he xiang bank chairman and ceo of xpong our commitment to innovation through end-to-end in-house research and development is the cornerstone of our business this is not only to keep xpong at the forefront of our technologies of smart evs but also position us well in capturing the significant growth potential 
in the smart EV industry. Looking ahead, Exponent will continue to capitalize on its core strength in technology, while ethening sales and marketing efforts, further enhancing manufacturing capability and developing our global strategy. So this is another reason why I'm telling you guys that just because they meet expectations doesn't mean that everything fundamentally with Xmonk is bad. Just like in Tesla, a lot of people were complaining that Tesla wasn't profitable. And a lot of the reason why was because of the reinvesting in research and development. And look at Tesla today. Tesla has been profitable for five quarters in a row. I do not doubt that Xmonk is going to eventually become profitable. But at this moment, if they became profitable, they will have to stop innovating. And I don't believe they're there yet. I believe they do need to continue to build more factories they have to finish the second factory they have to continue to ramp up the p7 and in my opinion they should probably introduce an additional vehicle which is something that xpong has not mentioned at all but this is my opinion where i believe that this is where the company should continue to focus on over here we can see their vehicle margins was 3.2 percent for the third quarter of 2020 compared to a negative 10.8 percent for the same period in 2019 and a negative 5.6 for the second quarter so from negative 5.6 percent in the second quarter of 2020 they jumped to a positive 3.2 percent this is an increase of 8.8 percent so to me this is good news i mean i'm very excited about this primarily due to better production mix decrease in material costs and improvements of manufacturing efficiency again just like what tesla has been doing to increase their margins same thing with neo this is what a growth company is supposed to do don't let anybody tell you anything otherwise research and development expenses were 93.6 million for the third quarter of 2020 representing an increase of 46 percent for the same period in 2019 so this is literally the biggest reason why they miss expectations in revenue because they're pumping their research and development to continue to stay ahead and be better so again, this is not investing advice. I encourage all of you to do your own research. I left the link right there in the description for you guys to check out the earnings reports. The most that I personally think that it would go down is 33 and then it will just bounce back up as we look for new catalysts in the future. And we already know that they're expected to increase sales every single quarter. Xpon continues to invest in research and development. And I'm overall pretty confident that this company will continue to ramp up, will continue to have a tremendous presence when it comes to the Chinese EV companies that are going to dominate in China and the world along Tesla and NIO. But if you guys enjoyed this quick report, I actually didn't have a lot of time to edit this video. It was just very quick. I just woke up, I saw the report, and I just wanted to make this video for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like for the YouTube algorithm. Xbox, NIO, and Tesla are heavily covered in this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.